Mr. Bones. I'm that slasher coming from behind, gonna stab ya. I'm that ghost in the mirror, full intentions with strength and fear in ya. I'm that monster under your bed, planning to decapitate your head. I'm that vampire in your closet, time to make up blood deposit. I'm that demon in the corner, time to call the coroner. I'm the boogeyman outside your window with plans on taking your soul. I'm that evil clown lurking in the dark, just waiting to leave my mark. I'm that giant shark lurking below, never know when I'ma swallow you whole, I'm that zombie roaming the plains, looking to eat out your brains, Mr. Bones. What up peeps, Mr. Bones back at you, and we've got a very special unboxing, I mean unboxing, or do I mean unboggling? We have a special unboxing here. We have a big box. What could this be? Let's find out. What do we have here? Besides noise makers. What's in the box? Oh shit, it's the boggling! Motherfucking. Well, well. Oh, Bones has a ball going there. Look, it's a mini Bones. Mr. Bones and Little Bones. Bogga Bones. Well, I think it's about time old Bones has a ball going in his hand since that's all he talks about and he doesn't even own one. Uh. These are newly, newly released ones, but uh, these have been out since I was a kid, as well as Hobbs Horror, and I always kind of wanted one. I always, I had this friend who always had everything, got everything he ever wanted. He had this cool ass Shogun Warrior Godzilla I really liked. The, the tongue stuck out and shot his fist. He had a Green Boglin, Atari, and all kinds of other shit. I remember him having that green ball one. Uh, drawing a blank on his name now. It's not Blob. That's the one Casey had, which is blue. Like, Dwork, I think was his name. I almost bought that one, but then I thought, nah, I missed a bone, I need bog of bones, the little one that looks like a skeleton.
I was wrestling with this little piece of plastic to hose the crate. I didn't want to tear it up. Okay, so using the crate, you have to cut that little piece of plastic and then you're able to raise the crate door like Fluffy from Creepshow. Crate Monster from Creepshow. Do not feed candy. Allergic to witch's brew. Creepy Halloween creatures that come alive in your hands. Dark Lord Baldwin's. Secret map piece inside. Endangered species. Extremely rare creature. Witches and warlocks beware. So as I said, I remember these from when I was a child and from my spoiled friend who got everything and didn't really think about them for years as an adult. Then all of a sudden one of our streams, Hobbs starts yelling, BOGLIN! Then the next thing I know I'm yelling, BOGLIN! And then Casey's yelling, BOGLINS! And it's anarchy. It's just a boggling nation. It's boggling all over the place. People are boggling all over the place. We got Echo yelling boggling. He went and bought one. He's got the one from this series that looks like Captain Spaulding. Wes was already a member of the Boggling Nation. He has two of these. We made Jen want to buy one. Now Bones has one. Caution, this special box is your Boglin's home. Keep your Boglin happy. Take care of his home. Your Boglin will like that. Please proceed carefully. back I kid you not like eight hours later to no success uh, you saw me unboxing it 
I watched some people on YouTube, I was like there was no problem, they had no problem with it. Uh, pop it right off and some people say, oh it hurts a little bit. It hurt like a motherfucker, but I'm not the healthiest guy out there. I have like, I have arthritis and I'm double jointed and I could not get it off. And no matter how hard I tugged it, eventually start ripping it. So I said fuck it and just tried to carve around it with my box cutter to try to preserve it the best I could. And uh, finally got it out with uh, cardboard stuck on the back of it. So uh, here he is. Fuck you. Uh, so eventually we are going to try to get that loose and try to like tape back the picture the best we can and preserve the box. But uh, he'll live without his box being perfect because um, when I put him back in his box when I'm not messing with him he'll be in there like that with his back to it and you won't see a bad spot anyway so you know fuck it fuck it anyway I got a ball going there's a tail We'll go back here once we get that fucking thing off it's like as I told Hobbs when I was trying to get it off it felt there's this thing in here that's like it's fucking torque welded in here the most ridiculous thing mechanism I've ever seen geared towards kids how the fuck is a kid supposed to get that off I had seen someone do a video said they had messaged and talked to Tim Clark and he said they were switching from this to a basic like bread tie thing unfortunately mine wasn't one of the ones that got that uh, but yeah, thanks for telling me about the sale, Casey. Casey is the one who hit me up and told me about a sale. These things usually run from like $42 and up, and this was on a site for $16.88 plus tax and $18. So now old Mr. Bones has a little bones. You want to tell him anything? Yeah, fuck off. Alright, fuck off. We got a ball one. Oh yeah, my wife grabbed this for me for Christmas. I mean, Christmas gift for my wife. Fuck off. My dick playing role games when my dick swing. I'll be Indiana Bones in the Temple of Poon. Tang fucking.